Hello everyone, welcome back to Axangel RC. Today I have a kind of a show and tell video on how to make a lithium ion battery for your radio controlled model or another application that doesn't require a battery management board to go along with the battery. In this case, said battery is a 6S 6P pack for my MyFly Dream Crosswind model, which definitely does deserve one to help realize its potential. But let's start with the numbers. The 6P part means that each battery cell will have six individual cells connected in parallel which means that all of their plus sides will be connected together and all of their minus sides will also be connected together this will not increase the voltage of this cell but the capacity it will make all six cells act as one bigger cell then we will connect six of these larger cells in series to get that 6s 6p battery for the crosswind and speaking of connecting in series each cells plus will be connected to the other cells minus side of course excluding the first and last cells as these will be the battery power leads this will essentially connect the cells in a way which will combine six individual 3.7 volt lithium ion cells into a 22.2 volt 6s battery one thing i like to do before actually putting the cells in a pack is to cycle them on my mc3000 charger or similar so i can determine internal resistance and real capacity which helps with sorting and matching them better. My initial task was to make the parallel connections but first I decided to glue the separate cells together which will make the whole process a lot easier later on and will make the battery pack a lot more rigid. So after gluing the cells together six at a time making sure they are all oriented in the same way I used my spot welder to well weld the nickel strips and connect the cells into one big cell for this step you can also solder wires to the cells but you would need a powerful soldering iron at least 100 watts and great care must be taken to solder very quickly so as not to overheat the cells which will ruin them with a powerful soldering iron two to three seconds should be more than enough after doing this for all cells i ended up with six large six piece cells each with a capacity of around 20,000 milliamps hours which were ready to be assembled into series to that end you need to arrange them so that every plus is next to the next cells minus in order to make the pack a bit more compact i decided not to have them arranged in the regular way but to offset the rows by half a cell so they fit into each other better this will make the whole pack more rigid and more compact and speaking of rigid before connecting them in series i decided to glue the rows together the glue i'm using dries up pretty light so it shouldn't add any noticeable weight to the pack once this was done i used some packaging tape due to lack of properly sized capton tape to tighten the cells together even further adding more to the rigidity of the pack I then cut the necessary number of nickel strips for the series connections and started welding away. In no time this was done and using the multimeter I was able to verify that indeed all connections were good and the total battery pack voltage was what it should be for a 6S pack. Next step was soldering the balance and power wires. I cut the balance wires to size and solder them to each cell 7 wires in total for a 6S pack. You need to solder one wire at every joint between the cells including at the end plus and minus cells again using the multimeter i verified all was good and proceeded to add an xt60 connector to the power wires and to solder them onto the pack i decided to go with the xt60 because that is what i have on all my big planes seeing as they're all on 6s and really don't need higher current connectors just one of the benefits of going higher in voltage once this was done due to lack of properly sized heat shrink i used electric tape to wrap the battery pack making sure I isolate it well on all sides to avoid possible issues in the future. Next I discharged it with my ISDT discharger but only down to about 3.3 volts per cell which is okay for LiPo batteries not so much for lithium ion so I finished the discharge with the iCharger X6 because it can actually do a better job than every other charger I have and a quicker one. Then I charged the backup just to see how it will behave. All looked good and the battery pack was now ready for some field testing in the crosswind. As luck would have it it was tested along with my new tarot gimbal and the result of both tests were pretty spectacular the gimbal made 
perfectly smooth video possible with this plane and the lithium ion battery gave it the flight time needed to do some very special and long missions and still have enough juice left for more. Fun fact, the lithium polymer battery I was using was a tired 12 amp hour pack weighing it at about 1.5 kilograms while this 20 amp hour lithium ion battery was 1720 grams for almost double the capacity and it actually came out 80 grams lighter than my initial estimates which is always welcome when we're talking about weight that would need to be flown around. Flight time of the crosswind went up from roughly an hour to about two hours and even with the added weight as soon as I get the new tail I will put it on balance it further to the back for higher efficiency and will replace the motors and props just to see how that will affect things and if I will get the promised efficiency numbers. I also have a few interesting ideas about the video antenna placement on the crosswind so stay tuned just in case you're interested. Until then all items shown and used in this video can be found in the description below and using any of them to buy literally anything from those websites would help support this channel and you will have my eternal gratitude as that is how I make my living. Another way you can support me is Patreon, the link is also there and I would like to extend my sincere gratitude to all the people who have supported me so far in any way and would continue to do so. If you have enjoyed this video and found it useful please feel free to like, share and subscribe if you haven't already and also consider following me on Facebook for more regular updates. I wish you successful battery building and until next time.